So what we've got on the bench to take a look at today then is uh, my latest purchase off eBay. It's a uh, 14 dB uh, antenna for Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, it has a uh, Wi-Fi card built into this. So it's a combined antenna and Wi-Fi card, and it comes complete with this pretty lengthy USB cable. It is supposed to be uh, waterproof, so you can uh, permanently connect this outside. It comes with this uh, little mounting bracket here where you can have it uh, stood on a uh, bench or a table if you wanted to or with the holes here you could mount it to a wall perhaps and just adjust this here it does feel uh, you know quite a nice unit it's got an aluminium back to it as well uh, but what i thought we'd do first before we take a look on the inside is hook it up to the laptop and see what uh, kind of access points we can pick up here in the lab so let's give it a quick little scan then just to give us an idea of uh, well if it works and uh, you know how it performs here on the bench so it's picked up seven access points uh, eight access points the uh, green one there is actually here with me in the lab so we can ignore that one so looking at the uh, signal strengths of uh, some of those access points it's not looking too good and uh, you know I'd expect uh, a 14 dB uh, antenna like this uh, a typical 14 db antenna with uh, say an alpha card to do a lot better than that but uh, because this has got both the antenna and the wi-fi card built in it could be uh, you know quite a good antenna but a poor adapter or you know it, it could be both you just don't know so let's crack this open and uh, see what's uh, on the inside of this antenna so let's take a look at uh, what's on the inside of this then so i'll just remove the little stand here and then we're just left with the uh, six screws that hold the back on so this is the uh, 14 db antennae here and it's not what i expected i expected some kind of uh, pcb uh, panel uh, type antenna there but uh, this is the wi-fi card it uh, doesn't look up to much so the uh, you know that could be why it's failing but uh, we don't know uh, what kind of antenna we've got here yet you can see the soldering job on the uh, end here the coax itself a little bit messy you see how it's all flayed out there i don't think that's going to help it uh, very much and the wires are just soldered directly onto the board here the usb wires with some hot glue holding it in place and uh, yeah it doesn't look uh, a particularly sophisticated card probably very basic and uh, you know its output i don't know what it's uh, rated at but uh, let's take a look at the antenna so i'm going to remove these two screws here and then we can uh, have a look on the opposite side so now that we've got the screws removed we can take a look at this and uh, it's not what i was expecting at all as, as i say i was expecting some sort of panel antenna but this is no panel antenna it's actually a yagi based design and we have seen this uh, design previously when i did the uh, wi-fi gun video so let me grab hold of that quickly and uh, we can compare it with this one here so this is the uh, wi-fi gun uh, that i made uh, in uh, a previous video and as i said in that video as well i did change uh, some of the measurements on this because i wasn't happy with uh, the measurements uh, being you know okay for uh, 2.4 gigahertz but you can see here that uh, the gap in between the elements is even smaller than the gaps that i uh, did on this one because i reduced the spacing of each slightly as well as changing the main driven element uh, diameter but uh, you can see here these ones are even closer but yes this is a uh, yagi based design antenna and taking a look at the uh, main driven element the main driven elements uh, this one in the middle sandwiched in between here this is the uh, reflector the main driven element and then a single director here but look at the shape of that uh, main driven element i mean that's been done on purpose there uh, to create uh, you know probably a better performance from this design and uh, i haven't seen that shape in uh, any previous 
antennas at all so you know whether it uh, works well or not I don't know but uh, what I can do is remove the coax from this Wi-Fi card put an SMA connector on uh, the end of the coax here and attach it to something like an alpha card and then we can run a test again and see if that improves things and that will also tell us that uh, you know the antenna is uh, pretty decent it's the uh, Wi-Fi card in here that's letting things down a little bit but uh, let me do that and then uh, we'll give it a test and see what kind of access points we pick up with a uh, alpha car connector to this design so it turned out I wasn't getting a uh, good connection so I've gone ahead and I've changed the uh, coax here this uh, thin stuff the outer braid was extremely brittle and it was uh, breaking off as uh, you uh, touched it so you know this coax is absolutely rubbish so what I've done now so it's not so cramped I've got a longer piece of coax here and I'll just have the alpha card sat outside this enclosure so let's give this a uh, scan then now we've got the alpha card connected to that antenna and we're definitely seeing more green there on those access points so a lot stronger access points that it's picking up now it's picked up more access points than uh, the cheap little uh, Wi-Fi card that was in there originally but you can see it's uh, performing much much better 21 access points there I'll bring up the uh, screenshot of the other scan the first scan alongside so you can compare them both but uh, you can clearly see it's performing a lot better so the uh, antenna that's in there is uh, probably a good antenna it's just let down by that uh, cheap little Wi-Fi card there and I wasn't going to take a look at it in the spectrum analyzer in this video but uh, I've got it hooked up at the moment there and uh, the bench is a bit messy because I'm busy doing some experiments with the network analyzer but as you can see there that's a uh, very nice output it's centered on uh, 2.4 gigahertz and you can see that dip there it's uh, very nice and uh, I think this particular design has got a lot of potential so this video turned out a little bit different to uh, how I thought it would before I uh, turned the camera on and uh, I'm quite impressed with this design I uh, really do like it but uh, as far as it being 14 dBi I don't think uh, it's 14 dBi I think it's probably closer to around 12 dBi maybe 11 dBi but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, disassemble this completely and take all the measurements and make a uh, PDF of the design itself and in a future video we'll take a look at this on the network analyzer not the spectrum analyzer we'll uh, get a VSWR measurement on this uh, proper and uh, I'll make one from uh, copper sheet and I'll make one from etching PCBs but uh, if you do take a closer look at this uh, antenna here you can see that it's not quite lined up correctly uh, on this I mean I don't know if it's showing up on camera but when I look at it directly the uh, circle here isn't spot on in the middle of this uh, driven element here so I think we can do better and uh, if we etch it from PCB we should be able to look at the difference between uh, etch PCB and uh, cutting it out from copper because you're going to get uh, a lot more accuracy etching it out but um, I also think the different shapes on the, the main driven element here that's all probably due to uh, tuning the frequency and getting a much better VSWR and if I bring the uh, Wi-Fi gun version of this antenna over here you can see that uh, it's basically the same design and uh, this here with all the uh, you know different shapes to it probably getting a better VSWR than this ever would as uh, you remember from uh, the videos that I did on this wasn't particularly impressed and it is a uh, very old uh, design from the early 2000s but uh, yeah I, I quite like this I think uh, we can do another video on this definitely improving it and probably add more directors to this as well to uh, get more gain out of it so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, if I manage to get the uh, PDF made up with all the measurements I'll include it in the uh, description box so you can download it yourself possibly having a go at making one of these uh, yourself as well but uh, if I don't manage to get it done by the time I release the video I will 
update the video and put a uh, link in the description so hopefully you found this uh, video useful and uh, with these uh, combo uh, kind of antennas they do tend to be let down with the wi-fi card you get with these i mean this just isn't uh, up to the job and you saw the difference in performance when you hook this antenna up to uh, something that was decent like the alpha card compared to this uh, little cheap one here but uh, as i say they do tend to be let down with the wi-fi card in them so if you did enjoy this video please uh, give it a uh, thumbs up if you've uh, purchased one of these and you're happy with it let us know but uh, i think if you purchased one of these and then uh, got inside and put yourself a bit of coax on there and connected it up to something like an alpha card you'll be even more pleased with it so as i say if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up comments and questions drop them below and hopefully you'll join me on the next one